Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be on this new palette. Now this is by XX Revolution, which is part of Makeup Revolution. So this is the X-Ray Shadow Palette. So it's one of these new, absolutely massive palettes that they've just brought out. Looks like this. And it was £20. I recommend 100% that you download the Chrome extension called Honey because what it does is it searches the web, finds you a discount code. So I managed to get this discounted to £17 because Honey found me a discount code and then applied it to my order. So I actually saw this palette in Boots a couple of weeks ago and it wasn't actually in Boots, it was just a picture of the palette and like the placeholder of where it's going to sit in the XX Revolution display. And I had been like hunting or like stalking the Boots and the XX Revolution part of Revolution's website and um, like since like and then it dropped and I was like yes all over it. I will be doing like a haul soon because I did get some other things while I pick this up. So this palette is absolutely massive. There are 32 of the smaller pans and then five of the larger shades. To be honest I probably wouldn't have picked those myself for the larger shades. I probably would have picked maybe like this transition colour and then maybe like a mid-tone or like a fun pop of pink like this one. That's what I would have picked. That's what I would have used but you know you know people are different and somebody else might use them more than me. So I can imagine them actually bringing out other shades in this because on the back it does say the pink spectrum. They brought out a purple one. I know they also have like a like a nude kind of colour and then they have like a rainbow one. So I can imagine them bringing out like maybe a green one or a red one, you know, like other shades. So while I'm using this as well, we're also going to test out the new Revolution Eye Base. So I got my shade, mine in the shade Light and it's just like a dupe for the P. Louise base. I really like my Technic Eye Base, I always go on about that one. And I've also been using the P. Louise base lately, so we'll give this one a go and see if they it gives them a run for the money, because I think this is only like five or six pounds. So I'm gonna zoom you in now, I'm gonna put some of the eye base and then we'll start on the eyes. Okay, so eye base is on, and we are zoomed in. I just wanted to show you like what the product actually looks like. So this is the Revolution one, so it's 15 mil and I've got three here, I'm trying to just juggle them all. So this is like the P. Louise one and this is in the shade zero, so this is like a white one and this one's also 15 mil. So um, you can see some similarities between the two, like the, well that one's rose gold and the gold but the black packaging, it's, it's very obvious what it's meant to dupe. And then this is the Technic Eye Canvas, so this is 10 mil, so this is not as big. Um, but I think, well, I love using these two, so I hope this one's like gonna join the crew because then I've got some like really good bases. Right, okay, so now I've zoomed you in, I'm actually worried like how I'm gonna actually show you like which one I'm using because you know it's it's massive this palette, so it takes pretty much all of the shop. Um, it doesn't have a mirror this one, so I will be like using like my little mirror. I'm going to go in with my transition shade first, I'm just going to go in with this brown, oh it's gone very dark, there we go, so I'm going to go in with this like kind of tan shade, I'm just going to put that one in the crease first. So that's that shadow on and also just to note none of these shades have names as well so it's just you know pointing to each shadow. So now that the shade is on I think it looks pretty nice, a nice like I don't know camel or tan colour but I think like when I was pressing my brush into the palette you could see all like powder flying everywhere so it was a little bit powdery and um, there's no fallout on my face though which is good. Um, I do want to point out as well, I know my foundation is a little bit light today, I've used a lighter shade in my Huda foundation because it was on sale on Huda's website and they sold out of my foundation. So I thought well, you know, it's going to match me for the winter anyway, um, so you know, this tiny bit of tan will disappear that I've got and then it will match me perfectly. So yeah, just pointing that out before someone says in the comments. 
Okay, so now I want to start bringing a little bit of pink into the look. So, do you know what? Um, I want a bright pink. So it's either between this hot pink here and this light like, flamingo pink. And I'm like, oh, I'm going to go for the hot pink. I'm going to put that in the crease as well. I think like I've actually covered up some a lot of that brown so but it's fine it's a transition color so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull in some of this um like kind of a purpley is it a purpley burgundy I'm not 100% sure I'm just going to put that in the crease as well I know this look looks like an absolute clown right now but we're going to fix it this is not going to be like the end look so yeah I'm just going to put some of that burgundy purple shade in and then I'm going to cut the crease Okay, so crease is caught and I had an accident with the shadow here and um, even this shade was a little bit weird It's like they've all got like different kind of consistencies. The pink was the bright pink Oh, this one was really pigmented and this purple has a lot of fallout Even when I tapped off the excess, it still all dropped down on my face. It's fine I'll clean it up with concealer, but you know, it's just something to watch out for that not all shades are the same so I've cut my crease and um, I don't know what it is but whenever I cut my crease it always goes to the same colour as my eyes. It never appears like white or like even the same colour as the base. It always just goes that weird colour. So I want to obviously put a shimmer on my lid and um, I'm just going to like do a few swatches of a few now. Um, just so we can have a look at like colours because I'm not going to do like a big swatch of this palette just because it is so so big so we'll just do like a, a few swatches of some shimmers um, so these are like some of the shades you've got like a light pink or two kind of light pinks a bronze and then like a peach shade so let's have a look what they look like on just do them on the back of my hand so that bronze is actually like the most intense colour out of the four. A few other shades now that that's not the same colour. That's that's the bronze. I'm not swatching that one. So there's a pink there. Um well obviously they're all shades of pink. A light a different pink there and then like a kind of a peachy kind of shade there. So I'm like I'm really tired as what to use because there's some really lovely shimmers. That's a really nice shimmer that one's really nice wow so i've just <laughs> i can't even show you because like i've just swatched them like on my hand here so like there's some bronzy shades there and they look really nice as well ideally i'd probably like to use this white which looks like that because i like a really bright eye this one actually feels a little bit chunky for that one actually i will use that one and then we can always pull some glitter in or something really funky for the inner corner um what i'll do is i'm like i'm thinking i could fade it into another color i'm like oh i'm just swatching everything that's that white on and obviously it went on so much better with my finger it just really picked up the product on like when I was using my brush it gave me like quite a bit of fallout I'm just going to put a shade on now to kind of blur the lines between those two and I kind of feel a little bit overwhelmed with this palette sometimes because there's just so many colours I'm going to use that pink shade that I didn't use before
Okay, so I have cleaned up my lower lash line. It looks a lot better now. And I intensified the outer part a little bit. I put that pink on. I've put like a half lash on from Primark as well because I'm absolutely loving half lashes at the moment. And we need to do a lower lash line. So I'm like, oh my God, like which color are we gonna pick? So I actually think I'm just gonna use this kind of like orangey shade here and um, yeah I'll just use that for the lower lash line. So this is the completed look. It obviously looked like a lot neater than when we were like onto the second shade. I really like how it's turned out. I do think some of the shades were a little bit different like formula wise to work with. Like some of them worked like really well. Some of them were more pigmented than the other. So I think I'm definitely gonna have to like play around with this palette, figure out what the best shades are to use. And yeah, but by swatching some of the shimmers, they look really nice. They were all really soft. Um, and I really like this one that's on the lid. Definitely use the fingers with them because um, you'll get like, you know, a smoother look that's, um, yeah, more full coverage. So thanks for watching today. Uh, check out some other videos I'm going to link in the description box. I've got more coming, so stay tuned. And I will see you again shortly. Bye.